Chinese companies stop cooperating with Russia over fears of U.S. sanctions. As China's major banks suspend payments to Russian companies over fears of U.S. sanctions, some Chinese suppliers are considering using foreign exchange brokers operating along China's border with Russia. You just can't do business properly using official channels. One Chinese businessman told Reuters, adding that big banks are now taking months rather than days to process payments from Russia, forcing him to use unorthodox payment channels or downsize his business. A banker at one of China's big four state-owned banks told Reuters his bank has tightened controls over Russia-linked business to prevent sanctions risks. The main reason is to avoid unnecessary trouble, the banker said. Since last month, Chinese banks have tightened their scrutiny of Russian-linked transactions or ceased operations altogether to avoid U.S. sanctions, the sources said. Transactions between China and Russia will increasingly take place through underground channels, said the head of a trade body in a southeastern province representing Chinese businesses with Russian interests, but he noted that these methods carry significant risks. One option is making payments in cryptocurrency, a Russian banker in Moscow told Reuters. Some rural banks in northeast China along the Russian border can still collect payments, but this has led to a bottleneck with some business people saying that they have been lining up for months to open accounts. A chemical and machinery company in Jiangsu province has been waiting for three months to open an account at Jilin Hunchun Rural Commercial Bank in the northeastern province of Jilin, said Liu, who works at the firm and also asked to be identified by family name. Calls to the bank seeking comment went unanswered. A bank official said firms exporting heavy equipment face stricter checks when receiving payments, Liu said. The manager at the listed Guangdong company said their firm had opened accounts at seven banks since last month, but none agreed to accept payments from Russia. We gave up on the Russian market. We eventually didn't receive more than 10 million yuan or $1.4 million in payments from the Russian side, and we just gave up. The process of collecting payments is extremely annoying. The manager said, I may gradually shrink my business in Russia as the slow process of collecting money is not good for the company's liquidity management. What's more, you don't know what will happen in the future. The channel can be shut completely one day, said another businessman. Russian army restores old military equipment due to shortage at front. Russian army restores old military equipment due to a shortage of vehicles at the front, according to Atesh Partisan Movement. Atesh agents conducted a reconnaissance of a warehouse of non-working equipment of one of the military units in the Gagarin district of Sevastopol. As it turned out, the Russian soldiers restored equipment from this warehouse for military needs. This demonstrates that the enemy has significant problems with military equipment, which once again confirms the information from our agents from the Russian armed forces. The partisan said, Atesh agents also spotted a Russian radar system located near a military unit in Sevastopol. Having launched a full-scale war against Ukraine, Russia has been unable to abandon the use of Soviet-era military equipment despite boasting in previous years about the production and supply of modern equipment to their troops. This new equipment includes the T-72B3M, T-80BVM and T-90M main battle tanks, BTR-82A armoured personnel carriers, BMP-2M infantry fighting vehicles, BMPT terminator fire support vehicles, along with various others. The massive losses of Russia's newest military equipment in the first months of the invasion has led to Russia being forced to reactivate and refurbish older models for deployment in order to plug capability gaps incurred through losses. Since the start of the war, Russia has removed approximately over 40% of its Soviet-era tanks and armoured personnel carriers from the largest mothballed equipment base in Buratia. This certainly represents a significant figure, but Russia has another 20 smaller, similar storage bases, which can also be used to reconstitute units destroyed in combat. As high-intensity military operations continued, the share of modern military equipment in Russian stocks has fallen, leading to greater reliance on older Soviet-era equipment in many units.